Deadpool and Wolverine features an appearance from Chris Hemsworth as Thor, but this didn't require the actor getting on the set to film his scene. Footage that was previously screened at CinemaCon revealed Thor's cameo, but it was made using edited footage from a previous film. The footage of Thor's cameo in Deadpool and Wolverine was debuted at CinemaCon 2024. It featured Thor crying over the body of Deadpool, similar to how he'd done the same with Loki in Thor, The Dark World. The scene was made using the footage from Thor, The Dark World, and Hemsworth hadn't realized that his character appeared in the video. Beyond this Thor tease, there are expected to be many major cameos in Deadpool and Wolverine. Because the film sees the titular characters exploring the multiverse, there will be characters from Fox's X-Men movies appearing along with other notable names like Jennifer Garner as Elektra. Only a handful of cameos have been officially confirmed, but there have been endless rumors about who might be appearing. One of the most popular rumors is that Taylor Swift will be popping up, possibly as the X-Men character Dazzler. Even without the cameos, there's tremendous interest with fans for Deadpool and Wolverine based on the teaming up of the two lead stars alone. The movie stars Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, respectively as Wade Wilson and Logan. It was a surprise when the project was first announced, as Jackman had previously retired from playing the Wolverine role. He was serious about retiring after 2017's Logan, but he came to change his mind about Deadpool and Wolverine. But before we start our next story, if you are interested in entertainment news and comic stories, please subscribe to Buddy's Explained YouTube channel. Marvel Studios will likely recast Kong the Conqueror for the remainder of the multiverse saga, and the powerful MCU villain has recently been teased to be returning in a new Disney Plus series. In the wake of Thanos' defeat in Avengers Endgame, Marvel Studios introduced Kong the Conqueror and his variants to the MCU as the overarching antagonists of the multiverse saga. After appearances in Loki and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Kong the Conqueror was set to pose a significant threat in Phase 6 Avengers 5, originally the Kong Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars, but these plans may be changing. Jonathan Majors originally appeared as Kong the Conqueror and several of his variants in the multiverse saga, setting up the actor for a huge role in the MCU's future. However, after his 2023 arrest and conviction, Majors was fired from Marvel Studios, leaving Kong the Conqueror's future in the MCU uncertain. While there has been speculation that the MCU will move away from this narrative, it's possible that Marvel Studios could simply recast Kong the Conqueror and one potential casting choice has recently teased his debut in an upcoming, as yet unannounced Disney Plus series, potentially reintroducing Kong the Conqueror to the MCU. In recent months, Giancarlo Esposito has been a popular fan cast for several roles in the MCU, including Professor X, Norman Osborn, and Kong the Conqueror himself. While Breaking Bad, The Boys, and The Mandalorian star Esposito hasn't been officially cast in the MCU, the actor has recently teased his involvement with Marvel Studios at this year's Phoenix fan fusion event, Legion of Sand, as well as teasing his potential MCU role being something that audiences won't be expecting, Esposito suggested that his debut in the franchise would include him starring in a new Marvel television series. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to Buddy's Explained YouTube channel, and we'll see you again until the next video.